This man is all bundled up, and yet what's being reflected in his sunglasses leaves him shuddering. A bony face follows him no matter where he turns, its gaping mouth crying out without a word. The reflection of his arm does go in front of the face at 30 seconds, so maybe it's the way something's hung on his wall. I wish he would have flipped the camera to show what was in front of him, then maybe we would know if anything on the wall was making that creepy face or not. A TikToker named Jayla has a strange and creepy window that she attributes to a helpful ghost. Really want the window to open, Mr. Ghosty. Can you keep opening it for me? I didn't do anything. Clear. Did everything that I, uh, a little bit more, please. I can't leave. I can't. I feel like I'm missing some kind of obvious scientific explanation as to how this window is able to do this by itself. It would be weird enough for a window to go down on its own, but one going up is just a whole other level of bizarre. She seems way too calm for it to be a spirit, but maybe she is used to its presence by now. If not, what else could it be? Some haunted places are meant to be left alone. The old Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada is one of them. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by I'm the Cat Daddy. This video footage explores the Washoe Club in one of the nation's first industrial silver silver mining cities of the Old West. Prospectors arrived during the mid to late 19th century in order to stake their claim, and with money came the need to spend it. That's where the old Washoe Club came in, also known as the Millionaire's Club. This was a place where anything goes, with one main entrance and two secret entrances to keep the VIP's secret shenanigans under wraps. The Washoe Club also doubled as a holding cell for the passed away. At least one room did as passed on individuals were placed there until grave diggers were able to properly bury. With such a sordid history, of course, myths and legends are abound. Three ghosts are said to haunt the place. A blonde apparition called the Lady in Blue haunts a spiral staircase. A small ghost girl is somehow lost there. And lastly, a prospector causes trouble around the bar, disappearing drinks that are left unattended, and drinking the shots that the bartenders leave for him when they close for the night. This video doesn't show these full-bodied apparitions, but does unveil a paranormal incident. As the Redditor explains, he and some army buddies decide to explore the Washoe Club for paranormal activity. He writes, We were told by a few ladies who ran an occult store in Sparks, Nevada to look out for a dark entity named Steve. He apparently likes to close doors in a room called the Red Room. Though not in this video, during an EVP session in the club, they asked for a name and received Steva in response. And that wasn't the ghost's only response as one of the bros provokes the ghost and asks it to answer them. A nearby door starts to close on its own. The men start screaming and flee the scene. The Redditor says they all felt Steve's presence in the club, and he continued to slam doors as they collected their gear. They also felt their jackets being tugged on and a finger ran up one guy's back. I was thinking you probably shouldn't provoke a ghost like this, and many in the comments agree with that statement, while others who also investigated the club attest to similar paranormal happenings there. Is this place next on your paranormal bucket list? I think I'm gonna stay very far away from this place. YouTuber Stevanka, also known as Stephanie from 90 Day Fiance, is certainly no stranger to having bizarre moments caught on camera, but nothing could have prepared her for a creepy surprise like this. I don't really talk about paranormal stuff on my channel. The reality TV star thinks she could have possibly caught real evidence of a paranormal ghost sighting on her home CCTV system. Let's analyze the events and see if this spooky encounter is real or fake. One night, while entertaining her family, Stevanka casually opens up the security app to check her CCTV cameras. That's when she discovers some mysterious activity going on in front of her house. Eventually, it dawns on me like, that's a figure of a person. Within 10 seconds, the bizarre figure seems to transform into a solid white, ghostly floating form. Stevanka herself alternates between believing and not believing the activity is paranormal. I don't want to get anything wrong. So these are her exact words at 6 minutes and 10 seconds. I 
think it's a ghost. Everyone I've talked to, everyone I've showed it to, even skeptics are like, that's a ghost. So she thinks it's probably paranormal, which is fair, but I do have a theory. The porch light and the lamp post are reflecting light back into the camera, which could create this bizarre effect in the middle. But with that said, Stavanka has tried to recreate this scary moment many times, and she has a legitimate question. Maybe it was a, a glitch, but then like if it was a glitch, then why did it stop? Like why did it only happen that one night? I can't say for sure, but I suspect that one of the lights was out when she tried this again. I think both of the lights have to be on at the same time for this bizarre occurrence to happen. But if she did replicate this under the exact same lighting conditions and saw nothing, then it would prove that this is a mysterious figure caught on tape after all. In some parts of the world, it's customary to never put your shoes on in a hurry. Here's why. <laughs> A large snake has coiled up in the toe of his shoe and refuses to get out. If he had put it on without looking, then the snake would have no doubt defended itself. He says that this is a non-venomous juvenile rat snake, and I wanted to know if this is an accurate description. I see no bright markings, so I would say he's at least right about the non-venomous part. He gets it out using a hook they keep around just for this purpose and does not seem too worried about it. But as far as I'm concerned, any snake in my shoe should be considered highly dangerous. After watching this creepy video, I might start checking my shoes each time before I put them on. A person in Ukraine was filming a calm river one evening just in time to capture a humanoid looking creature cross underneath of a bridge using all fours. As the footage shows, something is grabbing onto the underside of a bridge and silently making its way across. Exactly what the creature is remains a debate online to this day. Some people have pointed out that this could be a human, but others have noticed how its legs and arms appear to be the exact same length. It almost looks like it could be an animal, but I'm not aware of any animal from this region that likes to hang upside down from bridges. Besides, if someone had to go underneath a bridge like that for whatever reason, then they would either hang from their arms or else hug the bridge tightly while creeping across. This thing, on the other hand, just swings across the bottom like it's no big deal. Human or not, this thing definitely has a very bizarre center of gravity as it moves. A remote shanty house in the middle of nowhere. It's gotta be abandoned, right? Posted to r slash ghosts by Livid Excuse 1640. This video reminds every paranormal explorer to be always on their guard. The Redditors driving down a dirt road at night in what appears to be the boonies with no lights around apart from a faint, distant glow. And yet, in the middle of nowhere, they come upon a rundown white house. It's dark and clearly abandoned, or so you think. As the Redditor drives slowly past, shining a flashlight onto the house, he spotlights its empty and broken windows, nothing else. That is, until he zooms in on a center window. Here appears a white hooded figure without discernible features. The realization of what they're seeing scares them enough to drop their camera and drive away. While many Redditors in the comments believe the figure is a squatter, rather than a ghost, this sighting at an assumedly abandoned house would be unsettling regardless. The Redditor writes in the comments, I've been in the house once and it's like the people living there just up and left clothes in closets, dishes in the sink, toys on the floor. It was wild. I got halfway down the hallway and something that felt like pure evil came over me and I ran back out. He also shares some still photos with varying exposures that he took from the clip. What do you see in the Rorschach ink blot? This is only a test. On January 15th, 2013, YouTuber Mr. Hutch117 posted this strange sound heard in the forest. I won't be out in the nighttime. Where did it come from? We're in the middle of nowhere. The man filming asks. The man believed it was coming from up above somehow, though it also seems to come from every direction. He and his hiking partner had just heard a noise that was a bit off-putting. He decided to turn on his phone's video to capture the sound if they heard it again. Halfway through the footage, you can hear why they were concerned. 
The sound sounds off again, and it seemed like the guttural laughter of a demon. Maybe one twenty twelve. It was it was twenty thirteen. Then comes on a deep and echoey wailing, something that's not human, not animal, not anything known. Well, viewers think it must be fake because the people in the video are reacting much to the frightening sound. Others suggest it could be related to the mysterious trumpet-like noises heard worldwide, and some say it could be the U.S. government project HARP. What do you think it is? If you feel you're being watched, that may not be paranoia. This nightmare may just be outside your window. CCTV footage in Queensland, Australia caught a man crouching outside a woman's home, watching the unsuspecting homeowner. The 30 to 40 year old man, dressed in a t-shirt, baseball cap, and shorts, walks up the front yard before creeping and crouching around the home, leering inside. The lurker apparently looked into the woman's bedroom window. The man was scared off for a moment by a passing vehicle, ducking behind a van parked in the driveway before continuing his leering. He stood outside the house for around 20 minutes on this occasion. That's right, he's been to the house at least once more, for which he was also captured on film. Makes you want to double check your locks and maybe hire a bodyguard. Sylvia Likens was 16 years old when her life was taken in Indianapolis, Indiana. Likens was held captive for over three months by her caregiver, who subjected her to increasingly brutal things. These things started with no food and increasingly escalated, and lastly, confinement to the basement. The girl was tied there. On the evening of October 25th, a neighbor heard Likens cries for help as she attempted to alert someone to her captivity in the basement. One neighbor did hear her crimes but did not inform police as the noise ceased at 3 a.m. Likens passed the next day on October 26. All involved were convicted in May of 1966. This video posted by Redditor Gmas shows the abandoned house of the teen. She was held captive in the basement here, which is from where the EVP is heard. As the two men walk away from the basement entrance at around 1 minute 53 seconds, you can hear a voice cry out, help me, clear as day. In response to one Redditor who suggests this sound is from children in the street, Gmas admits that it could be, but to him sounds like it's muffled from the inside the basement. He notes the voice sounds distorted, anguished, and not from a living human. I'm usually quite a skeptic, he writes, but would class this video as one of the more compelling pieces of evidence I've seen. Do you find it equally compelling? If so, do you believe Lycan's spirit is still sadly in this basement? This possible deep web video was discovered and posted by a YouTube channel called Grizz Overkill. In it, two bizarre looking figures walk forward in jerky, unnatural movements. The first one is dressed like a witch and has long, gnarled limbs and fingers on display. The second one is dressed the same way and is wearing what I hope is a mask and not its real face. Let me know if you recognize these figures from any television or movie series. I would feel a lot better knowing that this is just a film set and not a real video. If this does turn out to be real, then I don't even want to know its location or the surrounding circumstances. Shima Luan was once an illustrator who worked for the YouTube channel Danger Dolan. Her last video, which was uploaded over two years ago, has since left fans curious, worried, and upset at her unannounced disappearance. That's because the very last video ever made on her channel was celebrating the 50,000 subscriber mark, and it contained nothing but optimistic remarks about the future like this one, for example. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions, and a lot of stuff that I can answer in the FAQ videos, which I know I'm behind on, but that's okay. So it's obvious that, as of this final upload, Shima was still encouraging fans to interact with her and appears to have every intention of continuing the channel. I personally have never seen a YouTube channel celebrate a milestone victory and then suddenly stop altogether, so I definitely find this turn of events to be odd. With that said, Danger Dolan's channel has since claimed to have contacted Shima. 
and claims that she's safe, but not all of her fans agree. Theories about an argument and potential foul play are circulating the internet, though I find all of them hard to believe since Shima is in the United States and Danger Dolan is all the way in Australia. The scenarios are mostly just speculation without much evidence in my opinion, but I'd like to get yours. Most bad guys see a security camera and think twice, but Jason Chekhov thinks that this one was attracted to his house specifically because of it, which he can get some money for if he can manage to get away. There's no doubt that he stops and looks directly at the camera at 9 seconds into the video. It's such an abrupt and dramatic turn that some people think the whole thing is fake and that this person whose face is fully covered is none other than Jason Chekhov himself trying to get some views. I would agree that this could be a possibility if not for the lengths of which the person is willing to go through to get inside. First they put one arm under the other and try to wedge it open with force. Then they just try to open it the good old fashioned way and give the glass three solid elbows. Finally, they try to simply pinch and lift, painfully snapping back their fingernail from the sound of it. The point is, I really doubt Jason Chekhov would have risked messing up his windows or his fingers trying to break his way in, though I could be wrong. If you think of pixies as cute little fairy-like creatures, think again. Published by Erwin Saunders, these pixies apparently turned up at an inconvenient time. Concealed in a portable toilet, Erwin's son is waiting in the thick forest so he and Erwin can spy these little creatures. The little guys are springing around the moss-covered ground. One of them even climbs atop the portable toilet while Erwin's son sits inside. Peering out the window, he sees this creature, which looks more like a goblin to me than a pixie. Eventually, the pixies leave, but not without throwing sticks at the tent. Pepering. They're throwing things at the tent. Are these the pixies of your imagination, or are they their evil twin brothers? Either way, I'm gonna stay far away from that forest. Is someone there? Post it to the ghosts subreddit. Resurrect writes, the De Soto Mine in Arizona is the creepiest place I've ever been. At the time this was taken, nobody else was there. Yet, listen closely to their recording. From deep within the mine, you can hear footsteps walking on what sounds like wooden planks. The Redditor says in the video that his eyes are playing tricks on him, but he writes that they didn't hear anything but water droplets at the time. They only heard the footsteps later as they watched the recording back. Is something in this tunnel with them? Some in the comments think it's paranormal. Others suggest the water droplet theory, which is that the echoing of water droplets can distort to the point that they sound like other sounds. What do you think? Is this nothing but distorted water droplets? Or is something at the end of that dark tunnel? Something is watching, but what that is, we don't know. TikToker Axel Loza Official shares this creepy video captured in these boys' room at night. Two boys are seen sitting straight up in bed, staring at something. Aquí están mis hermanos. What are they looking at? Well, you're about to find out. A childlike face is peering out from a frosted closet window, but when the cameraman goes to open it up, this happens. Absolutely nothing. He knows it just.
Where did she go? While I would be hiding in the comments with everyone else, I'm going to check all my closets real quick first. A YouTuber and his friend are riding a motorcycle throughout the Indian town of Uti when they unexpectedly zoom past a pedestrian clad in ancient looking robes. Watch this part and if you happen to share their language, please translate what's being shouted at the person here. I'm guessing that they probably said watch where you're going or something along those lines. Whatever it is that they said, it must have really upset the other person because after driving in a straight line for about another minute, this happens. <laughs> They come across the same person as before, yet this is impossible because there is no way that the person could have been traveling on foot faster than what they were doing on a bike. Suddenly it dawns on them that they were most likely taunting a spirit and it looks like they actually get off their bike to flee. This video looks very authentic and I'm inclined to believe it is real because there is no added music or sound effects, just raw footage. If anyone is from the town of Uti or lives nearby, let me know if these sightings are common in the area. Or better yet, tell me if you've ever seen something like this yourself. My Dark Journal is a collection of abstract videos that many people are certain contain hidden messages and deeper meanings, perhaps even clues about a woman who lost her life. The latest video, simply called Wither, starts off with a snowy lamp post and ends with a strange woman walking down the stairs. In the description is a link to a video on a completely different YouTube channel. This video, called Whisper, has images of evil looking building schematics and what appears to be some type of old language. I don't expect anyone to really be able to translate the words on that last page, but I'm hoping that someone can. Anyway, in the description box of the Whisper video is a link to yet another video on a YouTube channel called The Oracle of Lies. This third and final video is called Wayne. It shows an old desolate road and more weird imagery, including the same mysterious woman from the first video with her. I'm not sure if there are any hidden messages in any of these videos, but there certainly could be. No fourth video is linked, and the odd trifecta ends there. This could be a simple art montage or it could be the real thing, maybe even something from the depths of the dark web. If you are able to make sense of any of these videos, even just a single part, then please let me know what it all means. This is purportedly the most haunted house in Guadalajara, Mexico. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez dares to enter, but he will soon regret it. As he tours the place, he spots this. Una noche loca. Las personas que estuvieron en esa transmisión. Perro, ¿qué es eso? No mames. Did you see that figure? As he continues throughout the home, it seems to be stalking him. Wait, wait. ¿Quién eres? Da la vida. Wherever he goes, it follows. Pues muéstrate, no seas cobarde. Muéstrate, muéstrate, muéstrate. A la bestia, no mam. No, 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 tranquilo, 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 tranquilo. Is someone there? Ricky keeps hearing noises, like someone is just out of sight. After hearing humming during a spirit box session, things get wild. No, 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 no. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think this home is definitely haunted, but by what? I'm not so sure. It's not unusual for a radiator to make noise, but imagine this noise coming from behind your radiator. <laughs> I 
The original upload of this video was deleted, but was luckily saved by other YouTubers. The creature who's been living behind his radiator starts to rattle it and makes a squeaking noise, prompting the camera to peer behind it into the darkness. After several minutes of peering and not seeing, the camera seems to focus in on something more distinguishable. An eye at the bottom of the radiator appears. It doesn't look like a mouse eye or the eye of any other small rodent, but rather the eye of a human-like creature. The sound of a monkey erupts. Watch it if you're brave, but be ready to jump. Two creepy videos show how a normal looking workplace break room is actually haunted when objects start moving on their own. The object looks like it's being pulled with a string, but then it falls over in the opposite direction like a ghost pushes it. The second creepy video, taken on a different day, shows a co-worker losing his mind when an apparent ghost moves more objects on their own. The hidden camera angle looks like this scary video could be a prank, like someone might have been making the objects move off camera in both videos. It's creepy though because according to them, no one else was there. What do you think about the scary things they've caught on tape? Is it paranormal? A YouTuber known as Mr. Carter experiences some strange activity in his bedroom, starting with a lamp that crackles with an abundance of electricity in the air, possibly paranormal energy. And this chair moves by itself as a burst of orbs becomes visible. Is something pulling a string under the bed? Probably not. The antenna falls over and a barely visible orb floats over the radio itself. The chair lurches in the other direction, followed by something breathing. It's very faint so tell me if you want to hear it. I'm going to have to go with a poltergeist on this one, but tell me what you think. Stalking should never be taken lightly, as is made clear by this next video, published by Terry TV in December of 2020. A streamer named Ellie Gato, dressed in costume, is walking through the streets of a Japanese city at night. Fun, right? Well, it was until this guy showed up. The stalker, captured on camera, is not even trying to hide his intent. Walking alongside the streamer with a sword known as a katana, he smiles as Ellie Gato laughs uncomfortably. Why is this Michael following us? Why is he following us? Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> oh, God. When she and her friend double around to try and lose him, the man follows. Ellie Gatto says they should go find her friend's husband. As she continues to try and lose the man, her laughter turns to real fear and concern. She even starts running as she attempts to call someone on the phone. She is brought to tears as the man gives chase. Fear Tales explains that a bystander noticed what was going on and pointed the girls to a hospital for protection. He is seen in the video running alongside Ellie Gatto and serving as a witness to the man's predatory behavior. Later, the stalker is seen being led by authorities into a station. Although this scenario seemingly started as a joke, it quickly took a terrifying turn. Thankfully, this bystander didn't just stand by. It's midnight when a YouTuber named Porter decides to go exploring some abandoned places near his house in hopes of capturing something scary on video. He and his friends have gone exploring these places in the past, and nothing's wrong before, but exploring abandoned places can always go wrong at a moment's notice, as he and his crew are about to discover. This urban exploration video is never meant to be a paranormal investigation, but soon they come across a tunnel that looks like it could be haunted. As they are exploring the tunnel, they come across a barrel that's been eaten away by corrosive chemicals. Large holes mark where a mysterious substance leaked out, and the old yellow caution tape they've caught on camera is a frightening moment to say the least. They should probably get out of there fast because, aside from being creepy and maybe haunted, the tunnel air is almost certainly not safe to breathe, at least not with this barrel around. They instead keep exploring until a cave-in doesn't allow them to go any further. 
They finally leave because the section they're in could collapse too. Each of them passing by the mysterious barrel one more time on the way out. They wander through the scary woods for a while and eventually come across another eerie passageway that Porter decides not to explore because they're still creeped out about being too close to a possibly radioactive barrel or whatever that was. They should have gone back by now, but they've come all the way here to go exploring an abandoned building and apparently not enough has gone wrong to make them stop. We're going to check out the other building for a little bit, that's it. They approach the building, but something else grabs their attention. A mysterious hole in the ground. No, we've already seen that, like, during the day. No, it's... Oh, no, I did not see that. As they peer inside, all they find is more yellow caution tape and a putrid stench that makes them feel nauseous. They aren't sure what this place is, but it's clear to me that this opening was once covered by a manhole. This is an abandoned sewer pipe that's filled with toxic fumes from bacteria and industrial waste. They aren't feeling too good, but the building is right there, so they decide to take a quick peek. It's beyond creepy inside, and they are inching towards the back when this happens. Huh? Yo, let's go. A scary voice whispers at them in the darkness and the urban exploration comes to an end. Later, they try not to get caught making a video at the hospital. You can tell it's real because there's hospital equipment beeping and nurses talking in the background. We had to um, come to the ER for Braden. Um, actually got in the car and recorded for a little bit on the way home. Um, He's starting to get a lot of pain like near his heart, so. His friend is okay, but they aren't sure if it was from breathing chemicals or a ghost. And this video has gone about as wrong as it gets. Located in South Carolina, YouTuber Mo Sarge claims that this is the original Crybaby Bridge. Mo finds he isn't the first to check it out and won't be the last. I just found a Ouija board on the Crybaby Bridge. What? It's wet. That is crazy. I just found a Ouija board. After finding this homemade Ouija board, a strange truck starts stalking Mo and his team. Same truck. Oh, stop. I need to stop. Oh, he's coming back. They return to their investigation, but after asking too many questions, they're met with a vice grip. Did you love your husband? Oh. Ah, ah, what the f is that? <coughs> what the f is that? grab my neck. <coughs> grab your neck? <laughs> Did the female ghost react negatively to this question? As they consider leaving, they sense a presence on the bridge. I, I felt something walking over here, bro. It's just watching us the entire time. It touched me! Just, it touched me! Oh. I guess it's time to go. I believe Mo pushed the crybaby bridge ghost too far. She didn't like his nosiness, and she took it out on him. He is lucky he didn't become the next ghost to haunt this place. Working car parks aren't the most comfortable places in the light of day. So what happens when you enter an abandoned one in the darkness underground? Published to YouTube by Nellis in August of 2016, this video will make underground car parks seem even more terrifying. Nellis writes, This is the scariest haunted abandoned place we've ever visited. The car park was in connection to a haunted hotel his crew had visited in Bosnia. He says that this video is even scarier than his two-part series about the hotel. So let's see what's hiding down in this car park. The car park has clearly long been abandoned, overgrown grass at the entrance and rubble inside as they descend into the pits of creepy. On one wall is a handprint, as though someone smeared something on the wall. It looks like something red. Nellis shines a flashlight into the dark and spots a bag. The crew hears something down in the car park, prompting Nellis to greet the darkness, asking if there's anyone down there to give them a sign. If there's anyone in here, give us a sign. Oh, 
A sound is heard, although it's not clear what it could be coming from. He continues to shine his flashlight all along the gap to the car park to see if anything is moving. They hear some more noises, repeated taps. His friend speaks in Bosnian, likely again questioning whether or not anyone is there. On closer inspection of the underground, they spot a door and recently eaten food. They continue down to the bottom of the incline and throw stuff at the bag they'd seen earlier. While looking deeper into the car park, they don't open the bag, but Nella says it appeared like someone was sleeping down here, or otherwise staying here, as though they found food canisters and towels. As they again hear something in the darkness, they decide it's time to move it on out of there. Nella says it sounds like something scraping the floor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I heard something, I heard something. I heard something. <laughs> Whether human, animal, or something supernatural, leaving this place with only one way out was probably the best course of action. What would you do if you heard intense screaming from an abandoned building? Post it to the Sir Spook subreddit. This video was filmed in an abandoned office. The clip shows the person filming climb up some stairs in a dark, very buggy building. Some eerie screaming and whistling is heard from somewhere beyond. As he continues through the building, entering another room, the agonizing screaming gets louder. He walks closer and closer to another room, but seems to have finally met something that scared him enough to flee, although I'm not sure why those screams weren't enough to begin with. Many in the comments agree that the screaming would have sent him running for the hills. Some even suggest that the Redditor should have called the authorities, as it sounds like someone was in distress. As Britain on Reddit noted, Um, why were you going further? Redditor SRGB Ski remarks that it sounds like someone was being jumped and the filmer walked in on it. Any way you slice it, that sound certainly stays with you. A YouTuber named R. Travis is exploring a haunted restaurant that used to serve Chinese food. The inside is extremely old, and the walls have rotted down to bare support beams. He feels watched and grows increasingly anxious, and begins to talk loud and fast to himself in an effort to keep calm. Sometime during his nervous ranting, he makes a comment out loud about a spirit he sees standing at the top of the stairs. I don't give two flat oh, it's a set of stairs here, let's roll. They might not be stable. I've just seen a figure up there, but I'm not honest, I'm going chasing him. Nothing really stands on camera. Could this purple triangular shape be whatever it was he was talking about? At first, he says he's going to leave it alone, but up the steps he finds nothing but an old, musty attic with a worn-out floor, but there's more than that up here. I just seen another figure then. Three black spirits have seen them past me now. Aside from this white light that passes by at 3 minutes and 10 seconds, I do see some shadow figures. And a final shadow figure with white eyes can be seen here at 3 minutes and 22 seconds. They're all about the same height scattered around different parts of the room, and with all of them still watching, R. Travis abruptly ends the video. A YouTuber called Douglas Cash stands at the entrance of these caves in the Bahamas. The stunning scenery grows less colorful and more claustrophobic as he takes a few hesitant steps inside. Soon he finds himself staring down a tunnel that looks barely large enough to support a human when a wild shriek fills his ears. Listen to this and tell me what it could possibly be, animal or otherwise. <laughs> Boy, you know I ain't going none, yeah, right? Whatever it is, it sounds about medium sized, but vicious enough to tear your throat out if given the chance. Even Douglas, 
doesn't seem to recognize the menacing noise and decides not to go any deeper. But since he did come all the way out to this area by foot to do some exploring, he decides to hang around the cave entrance for just a bit longer. After all, it's brighter here, and he doubts whatever he heard is going to come out of the darkness. He explores for another two minutes or so, studying the natural rock formations and whatnot, and then decides to call it a day. But unknown to him, looking back at him from the darkness are two glowing eyes that quickly disappear, and if you listen closely, you can hear some kind of chittering language that could indicate a certain level of intelligence. Night Owl 2007 published this video of a creepy sewer creature in February of 2018. In the video, some guys are walking along the road at night when they stop at a big heavy manhole cover and proceed to enter into the sewer. They remember how scary the sewer is, long dark tunnels, loud echoes. In order to see how deep one of the tunnels goes, the crew cracks a neon stick light and, turning off all other light sources, throws it into the tunnel. The tunnel must be deep, but the depths do terminate, as you can still see a tiny pinprick of light in the distance. As they're playing around with the neon sticks, the camera catches a skull-like face peeking over one of the crew's shoulders. I don't think you're throwing out enough light here. What do you think? Uh, what the f it looks like a ghoulish mask leering behind him, but when the guy moves out of the way and the cameraman casts his camera beyond, there's nothing there. Needless to say, the entire crew springs into action, racing out of that sewer like no one's business. There is a roaring sound at the end, echoing as they jet out of the tunnel. We can assume they made it out alive, otherwise we wouldn't have this video to show for it. A YouTuber named Baskir Bennywall has been thinking about the strange events of this unexplained video taken on his helmet cam at night in India. The more he thinks about the mysterious encounter that I'm about to show you, the less sense it makes to him, and the more scared he becomes. So let's try to solve this video and help him explain the unexplained. Okay, so he's returning home with his friends, but the roads are very dark and soon they become completely lost. They are already going slow to look for road signs when a speed bump slows them down even more. That's when they capture on camera a mysterious figure in white walking up ahead. At first they are excited because they think he will be able to give them directions to get back home, but the mysterious figure instead does not say a word or even acknowledge them, staring straight the whole time. Tell me what's being said during this short interaction in case I'm missing anything important. Something about the man is extremely off-putting and instantly gives this YouTuber the impulse to get away fast. After a while, however, they figure there's no harm in trying to ask for directions from him a second time and so they turn around. But here's where things get weird. They go to where he last was sighted, only to find... Mysterious that the mysterious figure has completely vanished, and it's not like a lot of time has gone by or anything like that. They encounter the strange silent man, keep going for another 20 seconds, turn around, and then drive back for another 20 seconds to where he just was. So not even a minute has passed before the figure mysteriously disappears. Assuming this was a person and not a spirit, he could have seen the motorcycle turning around and got scared, so he found somewhere to hide. But here's the thing, I never told you where they were returning from. They had spent the day at the Bangar Fort, which is said to be of the most haunted places in all of India, so maybe this was a ghost sighting of something paranormal that was following them home. I mean, walking around in the middle of the night in total darkness is weird. Not stepping off the road when a vehicle approaches is even weirder, and staring straight ahead when someone calls for your attention is just bizarre. So maybe it was a ghost on video after all. YouTuber Renoa Super Genius has something random to share. A random secret door hidden in a closet. 
She says that this door leads to the crawl space under the house and nice cool air always flows from the crack in the door. Since it's getting a bit hot in the house and with no airflow, the YouTuber decides to open the crawl space door, not only to cool the room, but to inspect, or mine as she puts it, the underground. After prying the crawl space up with a screwdriver, the YouTuber spans the area with a camera and viewers see a whole lot of dirt, wires, and the structural foundation of the home. Not an unusual discovery below deck. When she descends down under, the YouTuber finds cables that don't connect to anything. As the exploration underground continues, she finds an old penny from 1951. One YouTuber in the comments, Kiji Hu, notes, don't they put pennies in places like this to ward off evil spirits? In fact, it's true that some superstitious beliefs suggest that copper protects homes from evil spirits in the evil eye. Copper is also believed by some to draw good fortune, which is one possible reason why this YouTuber found a penny beneath the home. While crawl spaces beneath homes are not uncommon, most don't go exploring them, so you can imagine what secrets might be hidden under so many homes across the world. Esmeralda Vega is recording her family opening presents on Christmas, but one toy in particular keeps interrupting what should have been a happy family moment. That shit moved again, I'm throwing it across the- ah! Maybe someone is controlling this toy from another room, or maybe it's motion activated, but based on their surprised reactions, I don't think anyone is moving this toy on purpose. If anything, the toy seems to move on its own as soon as the camera person mentions it, almost like it has a mind of its own. If anybody recognizes this toy, please let me know what it's called and if it's remote controlled or not. Maybe together we can verify if this video is real or not. A YouTube channel called Mux9TV goes exploring some extra scary woods in Pakistan late at night when they find some really creepy stuff that leaves them really freaked out. <laughs> Out of the woods staggers a mysterious figure who refuses to speak for a long time. His eyes look haunting, like he's seen too much in too short a time and has been wandering for days, unable to get it out of his mind. The group does not know how else to help this person, and so they recite some words of faith over him, which works to the extent of scaring him away back to wherever he came from. This doesn't look like a ghost sighting, so much as the aftermath of a person who has had a paranormal experience of their own in the forest and has succumbed to madness in the days since. Either way, they're definitely not the type of person you'd want to encounter in the woods, so I bet the group is relieved when he runs away, but at the same time, he could probably use some help. Hopefully, he finds peace, but with that scary stare, I don't see how such a thing is going to be possible. This home in Bathfell, Washington has been overtaken by an evil force that refuses to go away. Paranormal experts from all over the world have been baffled by their findings, like this team for example. First, motion sensors repeatedly detect movement in areas where nothing is visible to the eye. What's especially weird is how the tripwires stop beeping whenever the investigators are near. Grunts, growls, and strange laughter echo throughout the house as well. Here's an example of the same laugh caught on multiple cameras. You maybe direct it a little bit better. <laughs> All of the noises sound like they are the right distance away in each shot, so this is probably real. This footage is terrifying to any cyclist on the road. Published in April of 2022, Cycling Mikey writes, The footage was given to me by a subscriber who asked me to make the video available. In case anyone knows this man and is willing to give his details, 
He had videoed the driver using his mobile phone, and the driver took exception to that. Captured at around 10.30 p.m. in July of 2021, the footage shows a cyclist riding as fast as he can from the car in question. He is calling out to any passers-by to call the police. Help me! Call the police! Call the police! Help me! Help me! The car is clearly chasing him. It even drives up on the sidewalk at one point as the cyclist tries to escape. The cyclist luckily eventually loses the driver, pulls into a driveway and drops his bike to the ground. Commenters call this outrageous and criminal behavior. Well, at least one commenter was able to capture the license plate number. Was it enough to find the culprit, or does he have dodgy plates? Sadly, I was never able to find out. Move over, Cujo. This real life pet cemetery is even scarier than the book. Posted to YouTuber by Adventures with Christian in October of 2018. The uploader provides a bit of historical background to the scene of this haunting video. According to him, this unofficial pet cemetery in Boulder City is the most haunted in the world. Why? He writes, Many people claim that there are mafia victims secretly buried there, other than the names on the headstones, which may have faded away. There is no record of the animals buried there. The YouTuber visits the pet cemetery at night, when it's at its creepiest. At the entrance is a sign noting that pet burials are prohibited there. According to him, the pet cemetery opened in 1931, located 20 miles from Vegas. It's potentially a mobster's paradise. In the 25-minute video, Christian explores the graveyard, looking for all elusive ghosts of animals and people alike. About 20 minutes in, he comes across a dugout grave. You can see the corner of a wooden coffin inside. About 22 minutes in, he hears something in the cemetery, although what it is isn't caught on camera. What in the world? What? 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 Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the world? Oh. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm done. He says he's done and hightails it out of there. The camera then captures a hooded man walking past, right in the line of the flashlight, prompting him to really hurry. It's later revealed that the cameraman was just a character, but that doesn't make this place any less creepy. Currently, pets are laid to rest in this cemetery, including that of the famous film star dog Rin Tin Tin. If you'd like to lay flowers on his grave, this video is a cautionary tale. Don't do it at night. A fire erupted at St. Anthony School in Octonal Falls, Wisconsin. On February 21st, 2012, damaging the interior beyond recognition. At the time, the school had 42 students. Portions of the exterior of the 55-year-old school were visibly damaged, while a layer of soot and ash coated the attached St. Anthony Church. Father Joel Sembers said that the parish was taking the fire very personally. In his words, this is part of their family, it's part of their community, and so they are taking this as if it happened to their home. While the fire was certainly devastating, the school was empty at the time, so at least no one was harmed. Father Sember noted that the fire could have been far more destructive had the fire department not been so efficient. The fire is believed to have been intentional, although it's unclear if they ever found the culprit. A tropical storm has passed through here, and aside from causing a messy yard, this family seems to have been largely spared from the bad weather, or so they think. <laughs> Luckily, everyone is alright and fortunately the tree didn't go through their house. So if you live near the woods and have a serious storm pass through, remember, this scary CCTV video is exactly why you wait until it's dry before going outside. A British YouTuber named Joe Weller learns from his friend Elliot of a haunted schoolhouse nearby that was built in the 1800s. 
They agree to go in the middle of the night to make it all the more legitimate and scary. This place is abandoned and yet there's a black gap where the curtain's been particularly drawn back, just enough for someone to peek through. Or maybe this is a shadow person leaning out. Joe wants to turn around before the sight of barbed wire, but Elliot convinces him to jump over and go inside. Someone must have really wanted to keep people out of here, or maybe it's to keep something contained within. They walk around the back way and Ivy is creeping along the walls, so nobody lives here. But wait, someone's at the window, a pale ghost girl. While well, over a dozen people see her, can you? And when he shines his light on it, it's gone. This alleged ghost video was taken on the second floor of a college, but I think it might simply be a chair getting pulled by string. Still, do you see anything here when zoomed in? I can't say I do. This home in Bathell, Washington has been overtaken by an evil force that refuses to go away. Paranormal experts from all over the world have been baffled by their findings, like this team for example. First, motion sensors repeatedly detect movement in areas where nothing is visible to the eye. What's especially weird is how the tripwires stop beeping whenever the investigators are near. Grunts, growls, and strange laughter echo throughout the house as well. Here's an example of the same laugh caught on multiple cameras. You maybe correct it a little bit better. <laughs> All of the noises sound like they are the right distance away in each shot, so this is probably real. This resident office ghost is unusually helpful. Posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit by Nice Socks Dude, the ghost here opens filing cabinet drawers so that you don't have to. In the video, the bottom drawer of the cabinet slowly opens. When the cameraman pushes it closed, the upper drawer then slowly slides forward, push closed again. Both drawers slide open on their own. The cameraman pushes them closed again, but they both again open, one after the other. Some in the comments think the load is too heavy. They might be spring-loaded or off-balance, or the entire building's foundation has sunk, but at least one Redditor agrees that it's a ghost. Do you think this office is haunted? If that's the case, at least this ghost is helpful. A YouTuber named Bradinator conducts a risky social experiment to see what would happen if he pretends to be a Russian hitman in public. Bradinator doesn't actually speak Russian, but that doesn't stop him from walking around in a black suit and sunglasses speaking on his phone in a made-up Russian sounding language. This alone is enough to draw some weird looks, but I think what alarms people the most is the steel briefcase he carries around and repeatedly makes a big deal over. Excuse me, did anybody touch this case? Okay, thank you. He never says it outright, but Bradinator seems to imply that something bad could be inside the briefcase. Maybe even a device ready to blow. Watch this part and tell me what you would have done if you randomly encountered this briefcase laying there. Oh, excuse me, sir. Watch out for the briefcase. Watch out. Uh, don't, nothing. Don't. At one point, he apparently creates enough of a scene for the police to come and give him a stern warning. Listen to this part and tell me if you think it's real. I was just with my friend and gonna film a Russian hit my prank. Right. Come back, I'm gonna take you to jail. Yeah, okay, thank you. The voice of the police officer sounds kind of young, and the radio dispatch sounds like it could be a sound effect. Then again, they do briefly record a police car with its lights on, so maybe they really did get told to knock it off by the cops. This team is exploring the ranch of an alleged skinwalker. Published by KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas in April of 2022, the cameraman is quick to sense something lurking around them in the wilderness. Hey, hey, hey! Vocês escutaram? Uma voz. As they move on, they again sense something. Further along, they think they hear a sound and start to rush forward. Meu Deus. Stop. 
Still finding nothing, at last, they arrive at these abandoned ruins. While inside the ruins, they hear a noise again outside. Later, back out in the wilderness, their EMF meter is triggered. Whose energy are they sensing here? Again, someone or something is in the vicinity. Is it the skinwalker? As day turns to night, paranoia kicks in. The legendary creature might be skulking anywhere in this forest. Should this team stick around to find out? I would have already been gone. Uncanny videos without explanations are often creepy in their own right, but this one takes it to a whole new level. Posted to YouTube by Gugun Reaper in October of 2016, the video is titled, What Are You Thinking? Deep Web Video. Soon it will have you asking yourself that very question. The clip shows someone in a black trash bag with a white cloth tied over his head. The thing coughs a few times, looking super sad and terribly creepy. At one point, it lifts its hands to its mouth, and suddenly its mouth is flooded red. It's unclear what is happening. Is this thing coughing up red liquid? Fernando Costa suggests in the comments. He was starting to hick it all up slowly, then blam. Bile and everything all finally came up. In the end, the thing holds a piece of paper with writing on it. You can see through the paper. And though he's holding it upside down, it reads, What are you thinking after watching this video? All it's doing for me is creeping me out. There's nowhere to escape when you're on a haunted island. The Hype Mike crew soon realizes that not only can't they escape, but something is in the house with them. They discover the front door open. Do we leave the door open? Like I feel like we would have closed that. No, at least the wooden door too. You know. Then they see something truly terrifying outside. What was that? The guys described the creature. There's something outside, dude. There's like a what? thing. What it had like talk? its face was all like. I couldn't. I could. Something was on his face. I don't know if it was like a mask or something, but yeah, something, something was on his face, face, and he had like a up. like a. Outside, they hear a call in the wilderness. I think I heard something up there. Yep, right there. What's that? And as they continue on, they get closer to it. Shh. Oh, what was that? A oh, how? We're definitely getting closer. closer. Like really close. And they get even closer. Oh my! I thought it was another one of those skull things. I think we should try to like find its like base camp. That Until they find its base camp. It's another one of those skulls. Oh, Hello? Is this creature watching them? It seems to have left some sort of warning on the ground. What is that? Is that, is that a brain? Stop, 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 stop. <coughs> what the f***? Disgusting. What is that? 
and amongst the brambles of the creature's base camp, they find this. Jesse? What? Look at this. Arriving at the water's edge, they see this. What? What the f that? Bro, we gotta go. We gotta. I think he's right. They've gotta go. Wouldn't you? I sure would. A YouTuber named Miguel Alvarez is racing down the road at high speeds for a very good reason. He catches up to a red car and immediately gets the driver's attention. Hey! It's on fire! It's on fire! The flames quickly crawl up the vehicle and soon reach the engine. What you see here is the end result just before firefighters arrived and contained the blaze. It looks bad, but things could have been way worse. The woman could have still been inside of this vehicle if not for the heroic actions of Miguel Alvarez and his friends. This is some of the most convincing footage I've seen in a while. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by AMRV underscore 5, this poltergeist activity left this resident with more questions than answers. The Redditor explains that she's been living in this apartment with two roommates for months and they've noticed that nothing seems to stay on the walls, from pictures to posters. Due to the home's age, they thought that a lack of insulation and drafts were causing tape and sticky tack not to stay put. After being gifted some original artwork, they put some framed pictures up on the walls with nails, but the very first night, both of the frames fell from the wall. This happened a couple of nights in a row. One night, one of the pictures started moving slightly, so the Redditor broke out her camera and captured this. The video shows the frame moving, just as they'd witnessed before. It happens several times, and then the rolling chair swivels around. No one is near it. The Redditor pleads, can anyone tell me what this is? What's going on here? While some in the comments think there must be fishing line involved, some are suggesting that perhaps an air vent came on. There is, in fact, a vent up in the corner of the room. Still, others think it could possibly be a paranormal entity. A second video seems to suggest it's the latter. In the video, the Redditor does a vent test to see if the heating cycle is causing any sort of disturbance to the frame. As she's standing there waiting for the heater to come on, a loud disturbance is heard outside her room. <laughs> She heads over to investigate and finds a boot thrown on a stair below. As she's looking around, another loud bang is heard from back in her room. When she returns, the frame has fallen from the wall onto her desk. She notes that the air has not come on yet. While Redditors are convinced by the second video, Many are agreeing with then safety 5971 who writes, If it's fake, you still got me. What do you think? I can't think of any explanations outside of the paranormal. Encounters with strangers in abandoned places in the paranormal are scary enough. So what happens when you encounter some type of humanoid creature in the middle of a forest? Strange Videos published this footage in December 2016. The footage is taken in the woods. You can hear birds singing and chirping. It seems like a calming, pleasant, peaceful nature walk. Then you spot it. Down the center of the shot creeps past a dark creature. It's hard to tell what the figure is at this distance, but its shoulders are hunched and the way it moves makes it seem not of this world. A closer shot of the creature calls its species even further into question. Most in the comments of the video seem to agree that it's not a Bigfoot. The gait and the creature's arm length seem to invalidate the Bigfoot theory. So what else could this creature possibly be? Without any additional footage, there will be no way to tell for sure. 
This video was taken in 2001 by the Mills family while hiking Marble Mountain in Maine. Their leader, Jim Mills, zooms in on what could be a humanoid watching them across a pond. Hey, Mattis. I don't see it. Moving now. The trees. It's to the right of him. He's walking that way. Do you see? Okay. see the King's Castle? Yeah. He's that kind of little. As it approaches the group, we get a better glimpse at its strange shape. Even from this distance, its shoulders look broad, and it has a powerful lower body with arms that come down to its knees. It does not look like a person. Like its arms are way too big. Look at how long the hands hang down to the... Okay. At 6 minutes and 9 seconds, the creature seems to point at them and wave its fist. My theory is that, assuming this is real, the creature is guarding its only water source and telling them to come no closer. You may think that this creature looks somewhat small from this distance distance, but considering the fact that his camera is zoomed all the way in, it's actually giant, but it could also simply be CGI. It's almost 3 a.m., and Sean Tharp's girlfriend is heading out to work a late night shift. Soon she is calling her boyfriend, screaming about a man walking towards her. She claims the stranger was wearing no coat, in absolutely freezing cold weather, and came straight at her without a word. Sure enough, at approximately 33 seconds into this doorbell cam video, I can see a semi-transparent figure stomping towards her car at a high rate of speed, then it turns around and abruptly disappears. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch this street lamp get covered briefly by the person's hollow outline as a reference point. This home video looks like it was taken sometime during the 1990s. A child is sitting in a high chair, happily learning about the different names for various parts of the body when something briefly interrupts the innocent lesson. This is my elbow. <laughs> Where is go. <laughs> The child tracks an invisible object with an exaggerated head motion. Then he mumbles about a ghost. It's hard to tell what he says, but I think he might have said there's the ghost or something along those lines, almost as if he's been at it before and has been expecting to see it again for some time. The child thinks for a bit and then says something else that's really weird. <laughs> it almost sounds like he's asking if his dad got the ghost or something like that. It's hard to tell what he says here, so give me your best guess. Maybe together we can figure out the surrounding circumstances behind this video. Anyway, things go back to normal for a bit, and it looks like the paranormal encounter is over. But then he makes a really confused face and looks around again saying something else that's completely indecipherable. Even if we were to know the identity of the child in this video, I doubt they would remember anything of use. All we have to go by is this puzzling piece of paranormal evidence. Forests at night are innately creepy, but this one just got creepier. Published in October of 2006 by The Ghost Hunter, she writes, what appears to be a spirit moving amongst the trees in this surveillance video, taken by amateur ghost hunters. The footage shows a ghostly, transparent figure moving through the trees, from the right side of the shot to the left. Gliding amongst the trees, it then vanishes into the darkness. Many in the comments suggest the ghost is too tall and thus this video must be fake, but Ghost Hunter writes, Despite comments on this, I would approximate that the apparition is about 6 feet tall, as the tree on the right is about 20 feet. What do you think this figure is? If not a ghost, then what? One thing's for sure, it's definitely something you should keep the lights on for. YouTuber This Is Dan Bell explored a creepy apocalyptic looking hospital in May of 2016. The hospital in question must have been a Christian hospital, as there is a cross on the front of the building. From the outside looking in, the place does live up to its title. The windows are darkened, and it's clearly empty and in disrepair. Upon entering, Dan finds a storage room filled with broken chairs. The room alongside it is covered in garbage and remnants of the past. Closer inspection of the garbage that lines the floor shows that this place was a dumping ground for needles, or perhaps it is still used as one. 
Hypodermic needles completely cover one section of the floor, an enormous stockpile of them. As they explore the place further, they run into that singular image of a single wheelchair in a dark hallway that we've seen so much on this list, and in another hallway a single stretcher. This time though, neither moves. Perhaps this hospital isn't haunted like the others, which is strange because it looks like a ghost prime haunting grounds. The exploration does turn up other interesting things as well, but it's mainly a series of long, dark, scary hallways and rooms strewn with filth, much like what you'd expect an apocalyptic hospital to look like. Mysterious, unexplained lights were recently sighted over Brazil, just north of Rio de Janeiro. The diagonal formation of strange lights stretches into the night sky and blinks in and out of sight. It's not a constellation because there are no stars in the sky, just these strange, unexplained lights that slowly move to the right and glow a fierce red when the camera zooms in. As the camera moves across the city to show there are no stars, they see more strange lights in the sky. These ones closer to Earth, a large column of lights at 56 seconds that should not be there at all. It looks like it could be a building, but according to them it's not. More lights seem to drop and lower to the ground, but it's too far away to tell. When he zooms out, he is surprised to find most of the skylights are already gone. This happened on June 24th of 2020, and if you're wondering why it was never reported on the news, maybe it's because we were never supposed to find out. What's beneath your floorboards? This clip was originally posted by TikTok user Unfortunate Existence. The TikToker was replacing her carpets in her home when she came across a secret trap door. Captioned, when you pull the carpet off your floor and find a basement you never knew about. The footage reveals that the secret door led into a secret cellar. Admittedly, the creepiest thing about discovering a hidden room in your home is the question of why that room was kept hidden, but we'll get to that only after we've explored it. The basement is equipped with a set of wooden stairs, so it looks as though its location was known by the past tenant or owner and the basement was used. The TikToker captures her first descent into the secret room on video. There's nothing much in the room but a bucket in one corner, a garbage bag that appears to be empty under the stairs, an old chair and desk behind the stairs, and a disassembled bed frame. There's also a large red liquid splatter on one side of the room, which the TikToker calls a little concerning. She notes that it doesn't smell decent down there. When all appears to be relatively normal, the seller light suddenly switches on, throwing a wrench into her investigation. Does someone know that she's there? That's more than a little concerning. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.